Last week, the government announced wholesale job cuts in Railcorp, a total of 690 positions to go on top of 750 announced earlier this year. At the same time, bus drivers are being threatened that if they don't give up some of their conditions, they will be privatised. Here to discuss these issues with me is the Secretary of the New South Wales RTBU, Alex Classens. Alex, the government seems to have it in for transport workers. What's going on? Look, it's really unclear at the moment. I mean, um, this government's got a mandate to fix the transport system, but we just believe that they're actually going about it the wrong way. They're making the big announcements and then they're not, not consulting with the workforce. Mm -hmm. They're just going out and making these decisions and we've just got to deal with it. Why do you think the Transport Minister is targeting workers in this way? Look, we're a little bit unclear about that as well. I mean, look, we've worked co fairly constructively with this government as it's made its various announcements. But really the announcements that they've made in recent history are just too far. Uh, wholesale cuts across the network is just something that we're not going to stand for. And we believe that they need to treat the workers of New South Wales with some respect. And we, uh, we call on the government to actually come out and tell us what their real plans are, and then we can work with those plans. The Minister keeps saying that the measures she's introducing will improve services and customer service. Is that right? Look, we're confused about that because uh, how do you improve customer service by actually getting rid of the people that actually yeah. deliver the service? So uh, it is a confusing thing and uh, again, it's a ludicrous proposition and we again call on the government to be able to come clean on this issue. Do you think there are more announcements coming? Look, absolutely. There are definitely more announcements to come and the reality is that we're facing an uncertain future because we've got an EA to negotiate, uh, new enterprise agreements for the different business groups. So it is very unclear for us at the moment and we need to be able to be in a position to fight those attacks. What do you want to see from this government? Look, we want the government to continue to make proper announcements after they've consulted with the workforce. We are the people that actually know the system. We are the ones that deliver the service. They should be talking to us long before they make an announcement. And what's the next step for the union? Look, the next step for the union, of course, is to build power on the workplace. Uh, we're obviously going to set up delegates committees, but more importantly, we're going to continue to make sure that the government hears our members' voices uh, and we're a strong force and we're not going to roll over and take this lane down. And uh, the, re the minister's really got an opportunity here. She can either work with us or she can actually fight us, but the reality is we are the people that can deliver the transport service for New South Wales that the people in New South Wales deserve, and she needs to talk to us. Thanks, Alex, for the update on this very important issue. And of course, if you would like more information, make sure you check out the RTBU website.